What's up, YouTube? This is that guy coming in. I just made a video and I somehow I hit the wrong button and it ended the video in the middle of talking. So I just wasted 10 minutes of my time. But I guess I'll try to go through everything again, talk about everything again, um, talk about what's been going on with my grow. I know it's been a month since y'all heard from me. But like I was saying before, before I had to reset my video, is that I had spider mite problems. They wasn't like bad, bad, but they was bad. But I found a whole bunch of eggs on the back of my leaves. So I had started trying to prevent those again because it was like my plants wasn't growing. I couldn't get them to produce no foliage. Like they wasn't going nowhere. This plant was just staying in one little spot. This plant grew, but it didn't grow like it should. And now that I got the soil mixed back right, like I had, like my soil was weak, like it had no amendments in it. So I've been hitting it with dry amendments, teas, and top dressing it with my compost out my worm bin. And ever since then, even like my little seed in there, this little clone there, those clones over there, those are the same ones that was yellow and half dead a couple weeks ago that I done brought back. I still got one over here that's puny and fucked up, but it's gonna come back too. This right here is the star dog. When I hit it with the top dressings and the, and the uh, compost and in the teas, I burnt this plant somehow and I ain't burnt nothing like this plant burnt with my organic nutrients, all right? But this one was burnt, burnt a week ago and it just dropped back to being green again. Like you can look and see some of the burn, but it also don't snap back, snap back. That's a star dog. This is a lemon garlic. The lemon garlic, I got it tied down. Oh, you can't even see where the fuck this plant started at. Either way, let me see if I can get where I can see the light. It split here because I it started tearing apart from being tied down. But if you see the limbs, some of them kept buried up in dirt. This one buried up going over here. It's one going over here. This all one plant. And it's been tied down to point that all these limbs are just bud sites that was on one limb that stood up and stretched up and became another bud site and became another limb. Like all these, these is a bud site on the side from tying it down. All these stood up tall and became a whole another bud site, like another bud, uh, t uh, cola. So I'm trying to veg until February 1st. Once I flip, this plant should be having a nice little canopy. It's got a whole bunch of bud sites, a whole bunch of tops on it, everything. It's all tops, actually. And I'm going to lollipop each limb, which I already started. Like, I started taking down, like, half of this up. So I can eliminate what's not going to get light. Like, if you see, I, I lollipop most of them. I go every couple of days and clean up a couple stems. So pretty much when it's done, it'll just be the top portion of that plant that'll be getting light. And I'd be dropping these lights down. Remember, I had my bear bulb hanging in the middle, just hanging, and that illuminated the whole grow space. Now I have a bat wing in the middle with the bear bulb, metal high lid, high pressure sodium, high pressure sodium closed hoods. So when I flip, right now I'm running 600 watts. When I flip over the bloom, I'll be running 1,000 watts, turning the air condition back on. Still got the inline going working though right now to cool it down for now. But I'll be running 3,000 watts with the air conditioning and I'll be lowering the lights down to however close I can get this bulb without burning that plant. So whatever distance that is is where I'm going to rest everything at. Because right now I got them all in a row. And then I got my little LED light still right here that I'll drop down and try to aim towards the plants too. But right now that's what's going on. For like a month, a month and a half, I wasn't getting nothing from these plants. These plants were not growing. Now... This gelato got tops coming out of his booty hole. And there's a lot more, but you can't see it on the phone. The camera don't do no justice. I come every couple days and I clean underneath it. Because it's got so much foliage, it's like tripped out like bad, bad. So I see I got to clean up again. Uh, all my clones was looking like this one. Now they looking like this here. Like they snapping back. This one is that Holy Grail that had one leaf on it. Now it's healthy and happy. This is a... Uh, my clones right now, all the clones other than that one Holy Grail are either uh, Grape OGs or, uh, or uh, the Whites. So I really don't know because they were sick and fucked up. And I think I marked them right, but I don't know. This is a seedling from one of the seeds out of the cross, uh, cross strands I made. 
I don't know which one it is, but I'll figure it out and name it after I get done growing it. But I got probably about 200 seeds and about 10 different new genetics that I got to uh, figure out because I just threw them all in bags, didn't pay attention, didn't mark them, none of that. Like I said, I lost a lot of motivation. I was stressed out, still stressed out now, kind of depressed. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and feel better about my life and feel better about my grow. Well, this grow right here, I think it's going to make me feel a lot better because the most I ever did, the most I ever trained, the most I ever did anything. I don't know if y'all recall that I told y'all that my scrog is hanging. There's no legs on my scrog. You see the wire, the ropes. I got them hanging from this beam. I got them tied and hanging. So it's, they pretty much suspended in midair. They swing a little bit, but they ain't doing too much. Once the more the plant grow, the more they get situated. So yeah. So uh, one other thing I'll show y'all is that uh, what I've been using for to kill my spider mite problem, which since I've been using it, my plants are getting healthy. Um, hold on. Now, what I was saying is, since I've been using this method, my plants are starting to get healthier, grow better, and everything, but this is what I'm using, okay? It's mothballs. It's a pesticide. It's for killing moths, and they kill spiders as well. When I don't want to use them, I keep them in a Ziploc and seal them up so it ain't vaporizing when I don't need them. If I see any kind of egg or movement, spider mite again, I open that up and I put it on top of this box fan that's facing straight down towards my hoods. But I put it up here and it blow all the way through the room and then I end up smelling it all through my house in the next like few hours. But that's what I'm using right now for my spider mite situation. Um, I was talking about my cover crops when I did my first video as well. All these cover crops are microgreens which I guess ain't no such thing as microgreens. From what I'm getting, microgreens ain't nothing but some things harvested early because these ain't micro no more. Ain't nothing micro anymore, all right? I got them all over. I got new seedlings growing. I got seedlings growing in all the pools, which is different things from cucumbers to sunflower seeds to some summer flowers and all kind of stuff, but we're gonna see what's gonna grow and what ain't gonna grow. Uh, like I said, that's that uh, holy grail there. And once they do get healthy, healthy, I'll be, boy, I'm going to bury them into another pot by yay high. I'll be getting rid of them stems. But I ain't got much to talk about right now. I just figured I ain't gave you guys no update in a few weeks. I got to come up here and vacuum and clean up and stuff because that's another thing I got to do is start keeping cleaner environments so, so there ain't no bugs walking around and crawling around. Uh, my compost bin is doing really good right now to the point that uh, if you look at the soil here, this is all soil out like my compost bin. This is all top dressing that I use my compost bin soil. Yeah, so everything's doing real good right now. Very rich. I don't know how this one looking dry so, so fast. I guess it might be eating faster because it's still looking healthier. But anyway, like I say, this is that guy coming to you guys. Sam, what's up with you? I hope y'all like my, my channel a little bit more, but I'll be back with some more in-depth uh, information and skills. So I'll be coming and showing y'all different techniques and different things from this point. Uh, once I do start going live again, I start doing my little freestyles and all that again that people ask me to. I won't do it unless somebody want me to because you know, I don't know if everybody want to hear that all the time. Either way, my growth still going. Changed this hood, which this hood is what I had in my veg area on the other side. But I done shut my veg down and everything vegging in here. When I flip, all these plants is going to have to get back into a veg area and this is the bloom room again. But right now, I'm vegging out in here because I needed the space. So once I get ready to flip, I'll be setting my veg up. I'll show you what I'm doing with my veg. Once I set my veg up and I get these plants a little healthier, 
I'll be setting my cloner back up, but I need to clean that out and disinfect it because it got spider mites. I might not because I've been putting the mothballs in there too. But either way, <clears throat> I'm going to get back to what I was doing. And this time, I'm about to come back with more proof of the pudding about my skills, what my level of growing is, what the quality of my, my product could come out to be in. I show y'all my, my uh, oil extracts. When I make my oil extracts, my edibles, and all that kind of stuff. Only if I get about 100 new subscribers, though. I'm only at 165, 170 right now. I need some love, people. Holla at your boy. Like my channel, subscribe, and share. Peace out, peoples.